Can you play Ratchet and Clank with the part on the Steam Deck at 60 FPS? Let's find out. Okay, so let's take a look at Ratchet and Clank on my Steam Deck Steam OS. Alright, and I've already installed FSR 3.0 Frame Generation Mod by Luke FC. It's installed. So if I go to Settings, Display and Graphics, you can see on the upscaling part, I've got a option for DLSS Frame Generation. Before this was grayed out, but since I've got the mod on, I could toggle this on. And upscale method, I'm going to keep it at FSR 2.2, which in fact is 3.0 since I've got the mod installed. And then on the graphics, I'm going to keep it on the preset low because I want maximum like frames. That's why I'm using this mod. And yeah, this game doesn't run too well, like natively. I remember when it first like came out on the PC and I... um installed it on my steam deck it was probably running at like 20 ish frames at best and i remember like introducing this game to my son but i thought this was more of a kitty game so um he played a bit of it he played more than me and he's like and then he gave up he said it was too like stuttery so that's why that's why um yeah i remember it wasn't running too well but now we get like 60 fps so it's pretty cool I never expected to get 60 FPS on the Steam Deck with this game. I don't think it's a really good port. But yeah, uh, I'll show you how to install this mod later in the video. I'll take you back to desktop mode because um, yeah, there is some tricks and uh, you need to make sure you have the right game version. If you're running on a lower game version, it doesn't work. The frame generation doesn't work. Okay. So yeah, that's what I'll I'll do later on. But um please note that this is a paid mod. It's currently still paid. You need to join the creators Patreon in order to download this mod. Which is a bummer, but it, it is what it is. But uh there is a little bit of uh, UI flickering if you notice. If I move the camera around. Like yeah, you can see the UI, it flickers a little bit. It's not like that much of a deal, this one. It's not like, like it's not going all over the place, but it's still there. Just uh, so you know, um, you know, if you're interested in playing this game on your Steam Deck at a higher frame rate, like it's get, it gets like hectic here and you can see the frames did drop to the 40s. Imagine playing without like, with the, oh, see that, 30s. All right, so imagine playing without the mod. It'll be worse. You're probably in the teens right now. Because this game like is kind of fast paced and you know, a lot of things happen on screen. So let's play a bit more of it. Maybe I'll show you like medium settings. But I don't think you should go for medium settings. But low is probably the best. Low is probably the best right now. I think you want more frames if you're turning on this mod. So that's why I suggest low. Yeah, I'm going to change it back to low. It's great that we now have options to improve the performance. Like these performance mods are really, really helpful. Like for games that like it works on. You've got an option if you want graphics. Now you don't need to turn the like turn the mod on. But if you want performance, you know you're on the go, you want performance. You know, you don't really care much about the graphics. You don't mind that little flickering. Yeah, it's an option. It's optional. You know, you can you can have it. You can turn it off. And uh, hopefully this technology gets better, which I definitely think it will. Avoid laser. L plus AA. Yeah, double jump. Okay. Nope. Not good enough. So this is a boss. Toads 
Okay, I don't think I'm going to spend my time beating this boss. So maybe I'll take you back to desktop mode and I'll show you how to install this. All right, so I'll see you back in desktop mode. Okay, so before we go any further, I'd like to introduce you to my secondary channel. It's called Growing Up Cooking. Other than gaming, cooking is also a passion of mine. So I'd like to share some of my cooking dishes, recipes on that channel. If you like gaming, you like eating, and you want to support me, please go over there and subscribe to that channel. I'll give you some sneak preview right now. Alright, we're going to kill it. Are you ready? Oh, oh my god. Oh god, they put the sauce in. Woo! Mm. So did you enjoy that? Watch the full video at Growing Up Cooking. Links in the description. Okay, welcome back to my Steam Deck's desktop mode. The first thing you need to do, obviously, is to locate your game folder. It's going to be the place where you put your mod files. So open up your Dolphin, your file manager. Okay, so if you're using the Steam version of the game, go to home, make sure you click the three lines here. Make sure show hidden files. This is checked because we're going inside a hidden folder. This one, .steam. Inside there, go to Steam and then Steam apps. I can find it. I can't. Oh, here it is. And then it should be inside the common folder. All right, inside common folder, you should have a folder called Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. For me, I'm using a non-Steam version and I put the file, the folder in home games and then Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. All right, you can see here, the version I'm using is 1.831.0.0. This is not the version I'm actually using, all right? Because I updated the version, but I didn't update the, I didn't update the folder name, all right? I, downloaded this version this latest version for me is ratchet and clank with the part update version 1.922.0.0 all right so i already updated the game all right this version doesn't work 1.831.0.0 it doesn't have the dlss frame generation it, it doesn't toggle that on so you need to update it if you're using this version okay i'm using 1.922.0.2 all right inside the folder there's um you need to locate where your exe is so rift apart um can i find it rs rs all right here rift apart.exe so where your rift apart.exe is this is where we're going to put our mod files okay so my mod files are in my downloads folder okay and then look fc mods i'm going to use the latest version of the mod as of recording, which is 0.10.3. Okay. Once again, this is a paid mod, right? You need to like join Luke FC's Patreon in order to download this. All right. And for this game, you got to use the SDK version. All right. Normally you have to use like which version the game uses for the FSR and it's using FSR 2.2. You're probably thinking we should be using 2.2.0. But for this game, I'm not sure why, but we need to use the SDK version. Okay. So go to the sdk.zip and extract it to the game folder I showed you before where riftapart.exe is, okay? And then also we need the common.zip. We need only two files here. We need the winmmdll and the winmmini, okay? So extract both of these files to the game folder, All right? And that's basically it. Now go to your Steam library, locate your game, you can click this gear icon, go to properties, okay, and make sure you have this launch options, all right, wine DOL, wine DOL overrides equals um, quotation marks, win mm equals n comma b, close the quotation marks, space, percentage command percentage and then you need to add space hyphen flex reflex markers all right so you need to add this as well so i'll put this in the description so you can just copy and paste it so you don't have to type it in case you you know have a typer or, or something like that 
All right, and once that's done, you're done. Just click play, and you should see the mod window popping up, trying to hook up the game and the mod. All right, if you go to settings, you can see, make sure upscale method, you keep it at FSR 2.0. Since the mod is activated, it's going to change it to 3.0. And then here, DLSS frame generation, you can see we can toggle this on and off. That's the most important part. You need to toggle DLSS frame generation. All right, and that's it. That's basically it. So I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.